Hey everybody, it's the team from Financial Market Wizards. Now, if you are looking to become a profitable trader, then you need to prepare, right? And that's what we do over the weekends. So in this video, I'm going to reveal to you uh, the key levels and the biases uh, that we have for the new trading week ahead. Okay, I understand that some of you, you know, you don't really prepare uh, during the weekends. Okay, that's actually very important. So uh, if this video is all you do to prepare for uh, the weekend, the week ahead, right, to just to trade, uh, make sure you take notes, okay, because uh, watching this video without uh, taking any notes, it's not going to help you, okay. Uh, what is going to help you is that uh, you watch this video, you take down the key levels as well as the bias that we have, and then you incorporate that into your analysis, okay. That's how you uh, prepare. Okay, so this video will help you do just that. Okay, so let's talk about uh, this new trading week ahead. So today is the 28th of June. Okay, so uh, we're going to trade uh, the June 29th to uh, 3rd of July. Okay, uh, we're also going to end uh, June and we're heading into July. Okay, so as you can see over here, we are at a Forex factory. Okay, we always start our analysis by looking at the uh, Forex calendar to try to predict what kind of market uh, it is going to be. Okay, so uh, next week you see that uh, we have the NFP. Okay, you have ADP, uh, non-farm employment change as well as uh, over here, non-farm employment change. Okay, so for this kind of weeks, um, there is going to be a lot of fake out. Okay, the market is not going to... Uh, break out of the levels nicely, okay? So uh, if you've been in our channel for some time, you know that we always talk about how a uh, NFP weeks like this, you will have a lot of whippy movements, okay? Uh, you're gonna see a lot of fake outs, okay? So in this kind of weeks, uh, you don't wanna be trading uh, breakouts, okay? You want to be faking the breakouts, okay? So if like, let's say you see a breakout of the uh, support, uh, you want to look for long instead of shorting the uh, breakout. Okay, so this is how we plan. Okay, so this is how uh, the week is going to go. Okay, so with this understanding, then we transition to the charts. Okay, so if you are new to our channel, new to our channel, right, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Okay, we do a lot of videos like this to prepare you to transform you from a you know struggling trader into a profitable trader. Okay, don't just have this uh, market outlook videos. We also have a lot of lessons that uh, you know we paid a lot of uh, gurus thousands of dollars just to learn. Okay, we record all these kind of videos uh, for free. Uh, for you to get started, okay? We also have a day trading guide. The link is in the description. Just check that out. But if not, let's get into the charts. Okay, right now, uh, we are looking at DXY. Okay, so uh, we always look at DXY because it gives us the direction of uh, US dollar. Okay, and USD is the main currency. I think you kind of already know that. So if you can predict the direction of uh, USD, then uh, you can kind of predict the direction of most major currency pairs. Okay, so this is DXY. Uh, in the past uh, week's video, we talked about how uh, this level 96.47 is a support. And true enough, uh, you can see that um, price did a fake out of this level. It broke down below. Uh, we tested it once, we tested it twice. Okay, so uh, dollar is looking very bullish. Okay, uh, you do have a, a resistance level over here. Okay, at 97.68. Okay, and what's interesting is that uh, you do have some form of a bullish build up. Okay, you have the, uh, let me just draw it. Okay, you have a high and then you have a low. Okay, and now you have another high. So it seems like there is sort of a bullish uh, build up. Okay, so uh, definitely looking at dollar to strengthen. Okay, it might, uh, you know, come down here, retest before uh, bouncing back up. Okay, or it might just, you know, go straight up to uh, the resistance level. Okay, so uh, I think our bias for this week would be uh, to buy dollar. Okay, dollar should strengthen. Okay. Uh, but just be very careful because right now uh, we are into a uh, resistance. So you don't just want to buy at resistance. Okay, you want to catch it at a good level. Okay. Anyway, uh, we don't trade directly into DXY. Okay, we uh trade the currency pairs. So uh, this is just kind of like a reference for you to kind of know that uh dollar is probably going to strengthen. So let's look at uh the first currency pair we have here. Okay, we're going through all these currency pairs. Okay, um one by one and talk about the levels as well as the bias. Okay, so dollar yen uh, is a bit tricky. Okay, we have a downtrend. Okay, we are in a downtrend. But right now, what we are seeing is we are kind of seeing like a uh, inverted head and shoulder. So this is your left shoulder. Uh, this is the head. And uh, on Friday, uh, 
you have a test of uh, this uh, uh, shoulder again. Okay, so what's interesting is that uh, if you switch to the line chart, okay, uh, we do talk about this strategy before. Switch to the line chart and you know you plot the level, okay, just plot the uh, the valley, then you change it to the candlestick pattern, uh, candlestick chart, sorry, then you notice that uh, price was supported here, okay. So right now what we're seeing is a potential uh, inverted head and shoulder and that's a bullish reversal sign. Okay, in fact, if you draw a uh, trend line, okay, uh, let me show you in H4. Okay, if you draw a trend line, uh, so then uh, you will see that, uh, let me just uh, draw it well. Okay, draw the trend line such that it touches as many candles as possible. So in this case, it touches the most number of candles. You can see that our uh, price broke out and retested uh, this uh, broken trend line. Okay, broken we test okay, together with uh, this uh, horizontal line, which is the um, left shoulder. Okay, so dollar yen looks to be supported. So this is in alignment with our DXY uh, you know, analysis. Okay, we expect uh, dollar yen to strengthen. Okay, the first level of resistance will of course be uh, the recent high over here. Okay. Okay, this recent high is also, uh, if you look left, there's also some structure, market structure here. So this level is going to be very important, 107.668. Okay, then of course, if that is broken, then you can look at uh, the recent high over here as a potential resistance. Okay, so there's a lot of space if uh, 107.668 is broken. Okay, a lot of space to go up. Okay, in fact, uh, the market has not been moving a lot for this, uh, for two weeks so we will expect you know a big movement up if uh, 107.668 is broken okay if not uh, if you can look for an opportunity to buy low you can buy low and hopefully take some profit here and then leave the rest to run uh, towards uh, 109.60 or 599 okay okay so that's it for dollar yen now let's talk about pound dollar okay so pound dollar Right now, uh, we are at support, okay, uh, price close right at, at support, okay, if you cannot see that uh, this is support, uh, just change the line chart, okay, uh, you can see that there is a, uh, over here, there's a valley, uh, there's a peak here, and there's this uh, valley over here, so if, you know, you just see, shift your line up, uh, you are able to see that uh, we are at support, okay. What's interesting is, is also that there is a, a demand zone over here. Okay, uh, I do have another video about identifying institutional buying and selling. Okay, so this is a, a zone where there's a lot of institutional buying over here. Okay, so price is now parked somewhere here. Okay, I don't really like uh, buying into this zone. Okay, so uh, even though I am bearish on uh, D DXY, okay, I'm bullish on dollar, that means a uh, pound dollar is going to drop. I don't necessarily want to trade pound dollar because uh, it's it's very close into all this support here. Okay, so this one I, I would recommend you to stay out of it. Okay, uh, if you want to short, then uh probably try to get it at a higher level. Okay, try to get it at the uh, this recent high over here. Okay, because if you look, uh, this was a support, uh, broken, retested. So this is a pretty good level for you to um just enter a short position. Okay, uh, I wouldn't want to look for long over here. Because uh, my my bias for a uh, dollar is that dollar will strengthen, uh, as well as now we are in a downtrend. Okay, let me show you uh, why we are in a downtrend. Okay, so I don't want to do counter trend trades. Okay, uh, this is a swing low. So this is a low, this is a high. Um, this is a lower low, and this is a lower high. Okay, so we are in a downtrend. So uh, I do not want to uh, buy. Okay, ideally I don't want to buy. Okay, of course, uh, if there's a nice setup, I may consider. But uh, right now, um, I don't think this is a good region to be selling into. Okay, if I want to sell, I sell high. Okay, I don't sell uh, into support. Okay, so advice for this pair would be to stay out. Okay, but uh, if you're talking about key levels, then uh, this would be the key level. Okay, the recent low here, 1034 will be a key support uh, up to this entire zone. Okay, uh, 1.22 is also, this entire zone will be a cluster of support. Okay, I won't give you a single level for this uh, chart. It will give you an entire zone of support. Okay, and uh, resistance will be uh, over here. 
okay uh 1 1.25177 okay so make sure you pause this video and uh, you write down this level so that uh, you have a form of a reference as to uh, which are the key levels to look at okay okay next up is uh euro dollar okay euro dollar is very interesting because uh, if you draw the trend line down okay uh you can let me just uh, fine tune the trend line and draw it properly. Okay. Um, where was the. Okay, just a moment. Let me draw it properly. Okay, so if you draw the trend line like this, you can see that uh, price, it's, uh, it's kind of retested it. Okay, it might retest lower the trend line over here and form a double bottom. That's also possible. Okay, it might come down here also. Okay. But uh, bottom line is that uh, price is kind of at like support and so, so uh, I'm not too keen on um, shorting until uh, this low is broken, okay? Uh, and it's kind of like, uh, you can see that there is kind of like a, almost like a double top pattern, okay? It's not exactly a double top because uh, the, this high here is still lower, okay? So this is a bit tricky because um, you, you have a low, you have a high, you have a lower low and you still have a lower high, but it's almost the same height, okay? So in this case, I would say that it's more of a range, okay? This is the upper end of the range and this is the lower end of the range, okay? So in a range, uh, ideally, you don't want to be selling at the bottom of the range, okay? You want to be selling at the top of the range, okay? So there are a few scenarios. You can uh, wait for, you know, a bullish candle pattern over here and then you buy it up, okay? Or otherwise, uh, you can look for a uh, a brick of the support and then you sell it down, okay? Uh, my preference would be to sell it down, okay? Because uh, we are in a downtrend, okay? You low, high, lower, low, lower, high, and downtrend. And my analysis for DXY is that uh, dollar will strengthen. So if dollar is going to strengthen, then uh, euro dollar is going to drop down, okay? So uh, my preference is to short, okay? But of course, uh, right now we're in a consolidation, okay? And uh, so... Do take note that uh, we are trading on the NFP week, so you are likely going to see a lot of fake outs. So it's going to take a bit of a uh, trading uh, judgment over here to see whether if there is a break, whether it's a fake out or it's a legit breakout. Okay, so it's, uh, it's a bit harder to trade, it's a bit more complicated. So again, uh, you know, if you are still new to trading, you are a new trader, um, then the advice would be to stay out of this pair, okay, because it can be a bit tricky. Okay, next pair we have um, Aussie dollar. Okay, Aussie dollar, uh, long-term wise, uh, we are in an uptrend, okay? Uh, you can see over here that there is an uptrend, okay? This is a 20 moving average, uh, 20 period moving average. You can see that price is kind of like um, being supported, okay? It was supported once here, supported twice, uh, supported twice here, supported. Now, price is uh, hovering just uh, below it, okay? But uh, we do see that there's also a trend line here. So uh, the support wise is very close. So if you short it from here into support, it's very small, you know, it's very small profit. Okay, so you want to be cautious. Okay, so similar to uh, Euro dollar, there is a zone of support over here, horizontal line support, this line over here, uh, this line, okay, and uh, the upper end of the range would be here. Okay, so... Uh, if you want to short, make sure that this entire region is broken. Then you do a retracement trade. Okay, you do it like that. Okay, let me just show it to you. Do it like that. Then short it down. Okay. Or the other way would be uh, just wait for some form of a confirmation that uh, this level is going to be supported. Then you buy up and then you take profit towards here. Okay. The other one you can consider is also shorting from this level. Okay, but uh, I don't really like this because uh, this is more, uh, this is kind of counter trend and you have the kind of like bullish uh, build up towards this level. Okay, so in fact, I won't really recommend you to short here because what happens is that our uh, price might do this or so. Okay, price might go up, come down, supported at this uh, trend line, okay, and then uh, burst up, okay. So uh, there's many possible scenarios on Aussie dollar at this point moment of time okay so we're not going to give you a clear uh, action but i uh, just want you to take note of these levels uh, 0 0.67787 uh, 0 0.68 and uh, 0 0.6973 okay just make sure you plot these levels out 
and then uh, depending on how uh, the market behaves, I will send out the signals accordingly. Okay, let's talk about uh, Kiwi dollar. Okay, Kiwi dollar is same as Aussie dollar, won't spend too much time. You have support here and you have a resistance here. Okay, it's in an uptrend, uh, you have the uh, 20 uh, moving average uh, acting as some form of support over here. So right now, price is on the lower end. Okay, if you are to buy, uh, you probably look for a fake out play and then you buy up. Okay, so earlier on in DXY and uh, my Forex factory calendar analysis, I say that uh, this is the kind of weeks you want to buy fake outs. So I think it's a good play if you can do a fake out play here. Pick out play meaning that uh, you wait for price to close below and then you wait for price to close back above and then you buy it up towards uh, this 0 0.6532 uh, level. Okay, but these are the two important levels. Okay, if you want to do fake outs, you want to be looking at these two levels. Okay, now let's talk about gold. Okay, gold is very interesting because uh, you, you had on Friday you had this shake out over here, so this was pretty nasty. This was a pretty nasty move down, right? Uh, you, you have a sell down and then immediately it reverses back up. So it's very nasty. It's, it also shows that the price is very bullish. Uh, in fact, there's nothing bearish about uh, gold. Okay, gold, it's a clear uptrend. You can see that uh, you have a high, you have a low, you have a higher high. Okay, okay so it's, it's, it's just clearly, clearly bullish. The only question is uh, where do you want to buy? Okay, if you draw a trend line, um, let me just draw it properly. You can see why a uh, price uh, almost spiked the level on uh, Friday. Okay, let me just draw it properly. You can see that uh, it spiked. So I uh, do expect gold to break up higher. Okay, but uh, right now price is a bit high. Uh, if you can get gold back at you know this uh, trend line, uh, this zone. Uh, that would be a good level to be buying uh, gold, okay? So if you need some uh, clearer levels, you can switch to the line chart, okay? Uh, notice I always do the same thing, right? Switch your line chart, uh, find the uh, pick, okay? So in this case, this pick, you have one pick here, okay? Uh, you do have another um, pick here as well, over here, okay? Which is almost two touches, okay? Uh, switch back to the candlestick, okay? Then this zone here will be the zone where uh, I'll be looking to buy, okay? But you might not get the chance, okay, for price to retrace here because looking at this kind of movement, uh, what might happen is that, you know, price might just do a very shallow uh, retracement somewhere here, okay? And then just start uh, rally, okay? It's too early to say whether price will retrace, but uh, just take note that uh, this is very bullish. As long as price remains above uh, this trend line and this zone here, then uh, we will expect uh, gold to be very uh, bullish, okay? Now let's talk about dollar cat. Okay, so previous few weeks, we were talking about this resistance, 1.3620, and how uh, this level must be broken. So the good thing is that a uh, price has finally broken it. Okay, so uh, this was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, Wednesday, had a nice close above. Thursday just proved that, uh, you know, this support, uh, this resistance has turned into support. And Friday barely even tested it and then it started rallying up, okay? The only, only problem with this trade setup is that uh, there is a zone of uh, supply over here, okay? Institutional traders are selling over here. So if you do buy here, uh, make sure they accept your profit um, fast, okay? Uh, there is still some space up, right? Price is at uh, 1.3682 and uh, this is uh, 1.3746. So you still have about a 60 pip movement, okay? Uh, ideally, you want to get a retracement down, right? If you can buy it lower, uh, that will be good, okay? Uh, let me just uh, clear this, okay? If you can find a good entry towards, uh, let me just draw it here, okay? If you can just find a good entry down and then you buy it up, uh, that would be good, okay? Other than that, uh, if you enter here, so, uh, it's fine, okay, it's still fine if you can uh, manage your risk to reward and make sure that uh, you're getting more than uh, one is to one. Meaning that if you're risking 30 pips and you're making 60 pips, that is fine, okay, but you just want to take note of uh, this level because after all, you're still uh, trading counter trend, it's still a big uh, 
trend down. It's still a big downtrend, okay? And we did not see any reversal uh, patterns over here. We don't see a double bottom or we don't see an inverted uh, head and shoulders. So, you know, what might happen is that price might come up here and then start selling down as in accordance with this uh, downtrend, okay? Okay, let's move to dollar franc. Okay, let me just... Okay, dollar franc is very sim similar to a dollar cat. Okay, the big trend is down. Okay, uh, and you have certain uh, well-established levels. Okay, so that makes a dollar franc easier to trade because uh, you do have uh, this entire zone here. Okay, uh, you can see that uh, this was support and then now it's acting as resistance. This whole thing is a uh, resistance zone and you also have the uh, 20 moving average uh, acting as dynamic resistance. Okay, so uh, you want to look for shots over here. Okay, but uh, do take note that uh, you might run into some form of uh, support, right? Because if you draw a, uh, you know, ascending trend line, let's say you short here, what happens is that price might do just this, right? Come down here, bounce off, and then start, uh, you know, pumping it up, okay? So uh, if you do sell over here, just make sure to lock in your profits fast, okay? Because we're in NFP week, uh, I won't really expect price to break down like that, okay? Because uh, as I said, when in NFP week, there's going to be a lot of fake out movements. So you don't want to expect price to break out uh, impulsively in a sing singular direction, okay? So just take note of this uh, resistance as well as uh, this uh, trend line and uh, support at, uh, over here. The, kind of like the double bottom support. You have uh, price failing to close below this level and then uh, price tapping this level yet again. So you have a lot of support, but you also have resistance, okay? So let's talk about Euro Yen. Then I'll talk about uh, US 30, which is a uh, index that is requested by one of our subscribers. So in this video, we're gonna cover that as well. Okay, so uh, Euro Yen, sorry. Euro Yen uh, right now, you can see that um, it's kind of mixed. It's a bit hard to tell. Uh, you have a trend line that was broken, okay? Uh, it didn't really break very nicely, but it's nonetheless still broken, okay? So uh, it's a bit difficult to say whether it's going to be bullish or bearish, but do take note that um, for the past three days, price has been uh, consolidating. So you have something like a triangle, Okay, you have, kind of have like a triangle. Okay, price tried to break below the triangle. You can see that uh, this, let me just re remove everything so that's clearer. You can see that this low uh, was getting higher and the highs were getting lower. So it was kind of like con like uh, converging towards a breakout. I think a lot of people, they were looking at a short or long when it break out and it kind of did break out uh, to the downside. But immediately after it broke out, uh, it kind of got... Um, you know, it, it was kind of like a fake out. Price went back into the triangle again, okay? So I see this more as a bullish sign. So in fact, a lot of people put their stop losses below this level, right? This spike low here or this spike low here, uh, they would have been, uh, you know, stopped out, okay? So one more thing to note is also that uh, there is this uh, pattern here, okay? So depending on how you draw it, if you draw it like this, then uh, price has broken out. But if you draw it and connect it to the top here, okay, uh, then price is resisted. So this is a pretty tricky uh, scenario, okay. But if I have to choose a direction, I would probably choose uh, towards the upside, okay, towards the upside. But I want to see that uh, this this uh, descending trend line is broken clearly, okay. So I want to see more strength in this. So uh, I think the point of reference that you could use would be uh, this recent high here. Okay, if this recent high is broken, uh, then we can expect uh, price to break out towards at least this high over here. Okay, but if this high is not broken, um, then you probably expect a uh, price to trend down lower. Okay, this is not an easy currency pair to trade at this moment. Okay, so uh, you probably want to avoid trading this if you are still uh, struggling. Okay. So just take note of uh, this 120.37 level. Also take note of the uh, round digit level, which is a 120 level. Okay, this is a psychological number. And that's also why price, uh, why price, you know, drop below and then close above. Okay, because during around this kind of psychological number, uh, price likes to do a lot of uh, 
takeouts as well as there's going to be a tough fight here. Okay, so price right now it's a lot between a 120, 120.37. Okay, so we're just looking for more uh, clear signs of a direction of whether price is going to break up or going to break down. Okay, now let's talk about the last uh, index. Okay, the last pair. Okay, this video has been really long. Okay, but uh, hopefully it helps you. Okay, uh, this US index. Okay, let's look at it. Uh, okay, so the long term trend is still in the uptrend. Okay, if you connect the lows to the lows. You can see that price are uh, closed right smack into support over here. So uh, selling right now is not advisable. Okay, selling the support is not wise. Uh, in fact, if you can see Friday's candle, uh, barely close below uh, Thursday's low. Okay, so normally in scenarios like this, when price doesn't have a very clean break of an important level, which is this uh, low here, uh, what happens next is that price always uh, retraces up. Okay, so. Uh, you expect price to strengthen okay, based on this close over here. Okay, you can see that this close is slightly below this low only. Okay, so you can, can look at some other charts. You will notice this, uh, you know, this recurring pattern. Whenever price fails to close below a level significantly, then uh, price will just uh, reverse in the other direction. Okay, you can just uh, take this as a learning lesson and uh, spend a weekend analyzing uh, setups like this okay you can use this as a trade setup for yourself also in fact you can see over here also okay one more example over here this price rise didn't really close below here right you can see that uh, this was an important level this was a spike low and price really closed below it and what happens after that is that uh, price uh, started rallying after shaking out uh, more traders over here with this uh, pin bar okay so anyway uh, price should be expected to go up okay and you want to pay attention to uh, probably this descending trend line first okay uh, if price can break above this descending trend line then you probably see uh, price visit uh, the recent high here and if uh, the recent high here can be uh, can be broken then you want to look at uh, the supply zone over here okay this is a supply zone because uh, there's a lot of institutional selling over here okay so if you do not know how to, to identify institutional selling, we do have a video on that. So just check out our YouTube channel. Okay, so this one bullish bias. Okay, so that's it for this week. Okay, I hope uh, you got some value from this video. Hope that uh, you took taken notes on uh, what levels to pay attention to because that's the most important part of this video. Okay, there's no point in uh, watching this video and just, you know, kind of seeing what we're doing but not taking any notes okay so we hope this video helps you hope that uh this week is going to be an easy week to trade okay we do not know okay the past two weeks has been very difficult so hopefully this week is easier okay make sure you manage your risk because uh there's no such thing as 100 percent uh, winning in trading okay you're going to have losses so it is your ability to manage your losses well that makes you a profitable trader okay not just uh being able to find good trades but also being able to cut your losses uh, when you're losing okay so if this is your first time watching this uh, channel right make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the like button right turn on the notification bell so that uh, you can get more videos like this okay we also have a free day trading guide for you the links in the description right just uh, click the link right put in your email and it'll email you a, a PDF okay I think it's about 40 pages of uh, how to trade I right? give you a step-by-step -step guide to trade the uh, forex market so that's very valuable right we prepare that uh, to better serve you because we've seen a lot of you know garbage online okay so uh, we do, do not want you to pay for garbage that's why we made it available for you for free okay so we hope that will help you also so if, if you have any questions as always just leave a comment down below or uh, we'll do our best to address it if not uh, we'll see you in the telegram channel and we wish that uh, you know you have a good trading session ahead